Want to break into the consulting firm of your dreams? Then join Black Belt, the world's most effective consulting prep program. You'll get A, expert guidance as you navigate consulting recruiting. B, confidence to walk into any case or behavioral interview knowing that you're prepared. And C, an 80% chance to land an offer in an industry where the average is 3%. Our expert team has helped thousands land offers at over 170 global consulting firms like McKinsey, Bain, BCG, EY, etc. And we can help you do the same. First, we'll make sure you get an interview by editing your resume and cover letter. Then, we'll prepare you for the interview through one-on-one coaching with a former McKinsey, Bain, or BCG consultant. We'll work with you no matter your background, timeline, or situation. We've seen it all, and with the right strategy, there is no such thing as an impossible situation. Are you ready to get the upper hand by joining the world's most effective consulting prep program? Visit the link in the show notes to join the June Black Belt Cohort today. Welcome to this episode of Strategy Simplified, where we start our series on Intro to the Case Interview. In this series, we'll talk through each of the five main pieces of the case one by one. We'll start this week with the opening sequence, and we'll subsequently work through framework, math, creative brainstorming, and the recommendation. This is a great series if you're just getting started to learn about the case interview, although candidates already practicing for the interview will likely learn some new tips and tricks as well. Let's jump in. The opening sequence. This is our first chance to make a good impression. And we're going to be punchy in this upfront sequence. There's three steps to the opening sequence. There's the background, the recap, and case and objective clarification questions. This is a short, punchy sequence. On average, it's only going to take you 60 to 90 seconds to get through. This is where we overall get a little bit of information about who our client is or what the business problem is that we're trying to solve and hear about our client's priorities or or what the overall objective is. After taking detailed notes to hear that information, you get the opportunity to recap and align with the interviewer on that information and ask a couple of high-level clarifying questions. Let's talk about each of these three pieces. So the first part is the background. This is the opportunity for you to hear just a little bit of context. You need to make sure to be armed and ready to take physical notes with pen and paper when you hear the background prompt. Usually the background prompt is only going to be verbally delivered to you from the interviewer. And you usually don't see anything on the screen up front or in front of you if you're in person. No exhibits usually at this stage yet. Just telling you a little bit of information about who your client is today and why they hired us. You're not going to be able to transcribe full notes every word that your interviewer says as we practice actually taking notes on the background prompt. This may be the first time where you realize, oh my goodness, note taking in in and of itself is a skill. And it's a part of this practice process, figuring out how to manage your paper, how to take notes in real time, how to create for yourself your own little shorthand and notations, abbreviations. Um, That's an important part of of the practice process. That's why it's important to practice live working through case interview discussions. The background prompt could be three sentences or three paragraphs long. It could end in a statement or a question. But you know what? I'm going to make sure to capture down the key pieces of information. What are the key pieces of information? I'm going to tell you five from our perspective. From my perspective, it is the name of the client, what type of business it is, where they operate, any and all key quantitative data. That's the numbers shared with you. And last but not least, what is it that you're here to solve today? We're going to call that the case objective. Again, your five key pieces of information are the name of the client, what type of business it is, where they operate, key quantitative data, and the case objective. So I'm going to maybe take down other notes in addition to that as well. But those are the key pieces of information, and I want to make sure that I am aligned with the interviewer on that. So after the delivery of the background prompt you, the candidate, get to launch into the conversation. You want to launch into this conversation as quickly as possible. You may even start 
be, be finishing up taking down your notes and you want to launch into recapping in a synthesized way the key points what you just heard from your interviewer. This gives you a good opportunity to come up with your own little independent catchphrase, something like, okay, just want to make sure I align with you here on the key points, or just to recap briefly here off the top, something that you can keep consistent from case interview to case interview that you're not going to have to think about while you're taking down those last few notes from the background prompt, you have the opportunity to, to start delivering your synthesized Recap. That's step two in the opening sequence. Your recap. This is your first opportunity to show to your interviewer that you can be synthesized and you can filter. We're going to prioritize recapping and aligning just on the key pieces of information with our interviewer. That means we're not going to repeat the full narrative story of what we just heard. I'm not going to word for word repeat or parrot back to the interviewer what they've just stated. I'm going to reframe, rephrase, synthesize the key points that I heard. It is important every single time during this case interview conversation, whenever you hear new information or receive new data verbally, I want to confirm and just clarify a line briefly with you that I captured this information down correctly. Every single time that you receive new information verbally, you should feel not only the opportunity, but you should train yourself to feel compelled to synthesize, reframe that, and align with the interviewer on what they've just shared with you. It's a good real world skill as well in the consulting world. Just, just want to make sure I heard you correctly. Synthesize, rephrase, reframe, and make sure that that you and that key stakeholder are aligned on the key pieces of information. We expect that recap to be to be actually concise and curated. You're being synthesized. You're, you're, you're using synthesis rather um, to, to come up with a punchy bullet pointed list. So I don't even need to talk in full sentences as I talk through my recap. I want to make sure that I go through those key points again. Okay, well, the name of the, you know, our client today is X and they're this type of business. They operate in these places or with these customer segments, whatnot. Um, you know, here's some data that we know so far, key quantitative data, and our key objective today is to fill in the blank, kind of running through those key elements there. On average, your synthesized bullet pointed punchy recap is probably only about 30 seconds long, although it can be longer if you receive a lot of data up front in the background prompt, but you probably just get enough information to kind of to tease you a little bit, to, to get your mind thinking about what might be going on in this scenario. There's probably a thousand questions that you've started to come up with in your mind, things that you want to know about more, things that that are kind of gaps, links in the chain that, that you want to be filled, that, you know, things that you're going to need to know before you, you jump into the next piece of the puzzle. But now's not the time to really ask any of those detail-oriented questions. Now's the time in the third and final step to the opening sequence to ask one to three clarifying questions. There's only three good questions from my perspective that you can ask at this stage. Number one, if you missed any data, I'm gonna ask that with specificity. So if I know that I didn't capture down all the information correctly, then still after my recap, after my confident recap, I'm going to ask with specificity for the data points that I missed to be repeated to me. Number two reason to answer a question, to ask a question here is to confirm your understanding of the business. What comes next in this conversation is you're going to get two minutes in silence to write out your framework. I don't want to spend any of those seconds, any of those 120 seconds brief precious seconds to be wrapping my head around what type of business this is, how they make money, where they sit in the value chain at the highest level, highest level of understanding. If I don't have a, a level one cursory introductory understanding or uh, immediate comprehension of what type of business this is, this is my opportunity to take a few seconds up front in the opening sequence, assert a perspective and confirm my understanding with the interviewer. 
third good reason to ask a question, I will say the best reason to, to, to ask a question, is to get greater clarity, detail, and specificity on the case objective. So if I give you multiple priorities, you could ask which one is actually more important. If you get hints at different priorities or different objectives and the wording used in the background prompt, you want to tease out what's most important. You want to tease out what the client's real true North Star objective is, What if there's a, a key metric that they're um, wanting to, to solve towards what's the needle that matters. If we can move that needle, then we're going to make our client happy. We're going to achieve the overall objective. Um, so if I use ambiguous language in any way around the client's objective, you want to ask, uh, questions to be able to move your understanding forward. At this point in time in the case interview and every time forward, when I want to ask a question, I'm going to try and assert a perspective. Asserting a perspective is better than just asking an open-ended question. So I'm going to want to assert a perspective here to be able to say, well, I don't quite fully understand yet what the client means by fill in the blank. Does it mean X? Question mark. By doing this, by actually asserting a perspective, you're able to showcase your business acumen in that moment. That's something that we want to do up front in the conversation and then sprinkle into this conversation wherever we can. So we went through the three pieces of the opening sequence. We have the background, the recap, and the case and objective clarification questions. Quick, punchy, 60 to 90 seconds in total. Hey everyone, it's Japheth here, and I just wanted to pop in before we end today's episode to say that I'm so grateful for everybody that has been leaving ratings and reviews on the podcast, uh, on Apple Podcasts. We're stoked to see those come in. They really do help the show out. And so before we end, I want to read one more of those reviews from you guys. So this one comes from Lynette. Lynette says, I'm so grateful for this resource as I prepare for consulting recruiting season. It breaks down each piece of information in a structured way that I can re retain it and internalize it. In addition to the case simulations, I love the mini episodes with process tips. Lynette, you just won yourself a free course. We'll be in touch to make sure you get that as soon as possible. If you've been enjoying the show, we'd love to get your rating and review on Apple Podcasts. So go ahead, leave that review, and then email us to let us know. Podcast at managementconsulted.com. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of Strategy Simplified. This is just the first piece of the case and there's more to come. There's many elements to a case and there's lots of various skills and qualities to demonstrate all at once in these case interview discussions. As such, quality practice is vital and you can get that by working with our coaches here at MC. They're all ex McKinsey, Bain, and BCG who work exclusively with us and will help you customize a practice plan based on your strengths and weaknesses in casing. They offer full case interview simulations and targeted coaching sessions in one hour segments. Coaching can be purchased by the hour or in packages. If you sign up for a package of at least eight hours and become a black belt, you join our exclusive membership and training program that gives you access to our full platform of on-demand learning modules, interactive drills, and a case library. In addition to a new cohort of candidates to practice with and a live half-day training with me. You'll find information and links to sign up in the show notes. Join us on the next installment where we introduce the next piece of the case, the dreaded framework. I look forward to breaking it down with you.